In this video, we're gonna talk about Body Daddies Episode 10. <clears throat> I know, yeah. It's quite a while since uh, since we since we last featured this anime. Check it on the playlist, okay? So keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Total. Uh, ngayon pa lang natin uli i-review ang uh, ang anime na to as a feature, of course. Uh, hindi na ako magpapatumpik tumpik pa, guys. First order business, the thumbnail. This is the sequence uh, that uh, that triggered the entire episode, right? So, uh, we found out in this episode what Miri's mom's name is. Si Unasaka. He just shows up out of nowhere and um, attempts to to take Miri home with her. Nasagi. Nasa, nasa gate po tayo ng daycare nito, ha? She made quite a stir yeah, in this entire episode. I deem this as thumbnail material because it, it is so... Uh, it was so... um It's like... um It's like the detonator to a bomb. Parang ganun, y- parang ganun yung, yung impact sa akin ng ano eh. Ng, uh, ng, ng eksenang ito. So with that out of the way, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this one. Peace! Again, slice of life feels, but <clears throat> during that scene where Kyotaro um, told our main protagonist who um, who snitched Unasaka as to where where Miri is, it became a little bit tense, but only for that scene. Do I have complaints, guys? Nope. Tandaan nyo guys, Body Daddies is both an action and slice of life anime. Of course, may mga comic elements kasi mawawala ba, mawawala ba yun sa isang slice of life anime? Natural, meron yun. This, uh, this episode's overall pacing, wala akong reklamo. Okay? Uh, it was, um, it was slice of life when it needed to be, it was crime when it needed to be. And uh, yeah, it's also a crime anime because both the main protagonists are assassins. Mga gun for hire sila. I can now say now, okay, body daddy siya tong episode ato. No naman. First gear shift is a no-brainer. Uh, the, the one that triggered our thumbnail. Miri's mom resurfaces, uh, tries to take Miri home with her. Like I said. Uh, at the beginning of this review, guys, it's the scene that triggered the entire episode. Dito na talaga umikot ang storya ng episode na to. And uh, it's an obvious marker. That's what gear shifts are for. Second gear shift <clears throat> was when Onasaka showed her her surgical cut right here. Another no-brainer. Bakit? Because as she was explaining kung, kung bakit niya kailangang iuwi na si... Uh, mabawi na si Miri because oh, she's dying throat cancer. E singer pa naman siya. Right now, um, I feel sorry for, uh, for Onasaka. Yung galit ko sa kanya nun when she, when she blatantly told Kasuki that she does not want Miri in her life, Wala na eh. Okay. Oh. You, even in real life, this, this happens. Very crucial gear shift ang, ang pangalawang ito. It, it will, I got a good feeling it will have repercussions in the final three episodes of this anime. And then you guys, roll to the finale na tayo. Third and final gear shift. <clears throat> was when Kyutaro spilled the beans as to how, how how Miri's mom was able to track her down. Isa pala nagsabi. Another no-brainer, folks. Because here we go again. Kyutaro reminding Kazuki and Rei the, the possible repercussions of their actions in adopting Miri. Anak ng isa nilang itinumba ito. And it's a really heavy gear shift, guys. But... If there's anything this this gearship will tell you, it's this. A gearship this heavy deserves to be in the road to the finale. So these three gearships that I saw, 
<clears throat> Heavy as they may be, each. Pitin pa rin. You better watch the whole episode. Because, come on guys. Slice of... Um, animes with those slice of life moments. They're... They are so hard not to watch. Feel good eh. Feel me. You're gonna feel good watching these kinds of anime episodes eh. Hmm. Oh. Plot wise. Now. Tignan ako mawala dun. <clears throat> there were I, I mean there was There was one flashback sequence Pero saglit lang eh Pinakita lang yung Yung eksena where uh, Where Kasuki and Onasaka had that initial conversation na nung, nung, nung Singer pa si Onasaka And talagang Right then then Dinis own na niya ang bata Despicable. It's a really despicable sequence, I tell you guys. But it was short enough to um to rem to to both remind <coughs> new viewers of the anime what happened before, and to um to to brush up on returning viewers. Alright, yes, y'all. Therefore. Planchado ang plot, guys! Akala niya, sasabihin ko, clean plot? No. Nope. It's a very important backstory sequence kasi. Kasi nangyari yung... Yung... Pag, uh, pagtatakwil ni Unasa ka sa anak niya, uh, it, that happened uh, seven episodes ago. So I'm very sure, PA Works is, uh, is anticipating a loss in viewers after that. And uh, baga, countermeasure nila ang backstory sequence ito. But eh, it was done really quickly. Pero yung uh, yung pagiging factor niya sa episode na to andun eh. So I cannot uh, I cannot completely discount that. I cannot completely ignore that backstory sequence. And Ah, there, was another, there was another backstory sequence here, pero sobrang ikli rin eh. Yun! <clears throat> That's ignorable. But this one, nope, I just can't. It's, um, well, this, it's, it helped, it helped enhance the storyline of this episode. Alright. So, face flow and plot. <clears throat> they all came together for this episode. Talagang, <laughs> Wala na si Baby Girl Mizzy! <laughs> Napagano na ako sa uli. <laughs> so, Body Daddies, episode 10! It's a heartfelt one. Two thumbs up! Right now, I couldn't imagine how, how the final three episodes will run. Alright, now that um, Miri is uh, Miri is now with her with her biological mom. So, paano na ngayon ang magiging takbo ng buhay ng dalawang vida? Okay. Will we see Miri again in the final three episodes? Ah, uh, I don't know yet eh. Wala. Hindi ko mabigyan ng percentage eh. But, We'll just have to wait for, for the final three episodes to drop. Uh, especially the next, especially episode uh, 11. Okay? Abangers na tayo doon. In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this playlist. Okay? Did you glad that, uh, that, we, that we were able to feature body daddies now? 